Hey, 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 you guys, and welcome back to the channel. It's Rogina here. I hope you guys enjoyed your Labor Day weekend. Today, I am back with a clean and cook with me video. This is my first time doing a clean and cook with me, so I hope you guys enjoy it. If you are new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you are returning, welcome back, friends. Thank you so much for watching another video. So I am getting started in the bedroom. I need to change the linen and make up the bed. As you can see, your girl was struggling with this fitted uh, sheet. I don't know what was going on. I kept trying to put it on and it seemed wrong. And then I turned it, it seemed wrong again. It was just, uh, it was giving me the blues. gotta get away now, but I can't seem to take the lead. Oh, baby, how could I know there was no second chance? Like dominoes, my life got really scattered still. Find myself hoping. this nightstand in which is so much random stuff just thrown in here um breast pumps and thread and change and random earrings it was just a lot of crap in there that i needed to organize and or get rid of
So once I cleaned everything out of the nightstand, I don't know what it was. I just started getting very um, frustrated and just anxiety from cleaning and trying to organize everything back the way I wanted to. Like it wouldn't come out the way I wanted as far as like the organizational bins and stuff like that. It just wasn't working I guess I don't know it was just making me frustrated so I ended up just taking everything out that needed to be taken out um, throwing everything in the garbage that needs to be thrown in the garbage and then I just left out of the room because between that bed sheet and this nightstand honey I was getting frustrated so I decided to go into Caleb's room and start cleaning his room and then come back into my room later just needed to put up his laundry and do some basic cleaning in there Can 
I had washed a load of clothes the night before so I needed to put those in the dryer and also wash a load of whites and I thought I had waste bleach on this dress but I hadn't thank god because the dress is brand new I've worn it one time and I did not want to ruin that dress with bleach So now I am back in my bedroom and we are just folding and putting away laundry and yes that is my husband actually video footage of him folding and putting away laundry. I'm going to keep this forever I promise.
decided to take a pencil and write all over Christian's door and my linen closet door so I decided to get some awesome to try to get it off of course it did not work so I ended up getting a magic eraser to get the pencil off just trying to take you way up with a jet go but you didn't notice that keep clocking all my hours I told you that work now play later but you keep going off on me keep texting like it's all on me yeah you all in my head like my forever, not for right now My day one, you hold me down Hot cold like the winter time Fight for your love, can't slow me down Don't go far I take me and you over living large Know I'll be there wherever you are Cause you shine bright like You shine bright like a shoe and star So later on that night, I decided to grill some pork chops and make some candy yams and some greens. 
and these are canned yams i've just poured the syrup off and added the seasonings nutmeg cinnamon brown sugar vanilla and a little bit of butter and i am sorry i cannot give you the exact recipe i kind of just eyeball stuff when i cook so um sorry about that so now i'm just adding some cornstarch to a little bit of the um, syrup that came off of the yams and that's going to help thicken the syrup once i put the yams in the pan i don't know you anymore we go back we go back we go back we And these pork chops, I got them from Costco. Costco has like the best thick cut pork chops and they are really affordable. I think they're like $1.99 a pound or $1.79 a pound, something like that. They're like really, really good um, quality and they are, the price is amazing. So now that I've let all the spices and stuff cook with the uh, yam syrup, I'm going to add that cornstarch mixture back into the pan and add the yams and let those cook for a little bit. You don't need to cook them too long because these are canned and they're already soft. Now if I was cooking fresh sweet potatoes, I would have, um, I would have had to boil them um, a lot longer, but these are already really soft out of the can, so you don't really have to cook them long at all now i'm just gonna go ahead and season my pork chops i'm using mustard paprika salt pepper garlic powder uh and i think a little bit of onion powder and some tony chachere oh god i know i just butchered that name <laughs> some of that um cajun seasoning and I am seasoning both sides and I'm making sure that they are well seasoned. Uh, ooh, well seasoned. Uh, there is nothing worse than bland pork chops or bland chicken. Ugh. Aren't you tired of the drama? You use your words like they are knives mm -hmm. I don't need that type of drama And trying to be tough for the day So the grill was already lit up It was hot So I went ahead and put the pork chops on there And no, I do not grill often My husband is the griller This is his grill He was not home So I decided to play with his little toy And uh, the pork chops came out good and when you grill pork chops, make sure you are watching the time because overcooked pork chops equals dry and you don't want a dry, tough pork chop. It's, it's not cute. You're looking at me so cold. Get over yourself, are you for real? Why are you looking at me so cold? One's love is nowhere in the knees. And this is how everything turned out. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Once I fell, but now I'm strong, I'm ready.